meet us. Let's have a chat. Nobody wants to litigate. Miss, Mrs. Charles added, we still keep going. They're still firing our bellies. We still want to continue to fight for justice for Harry because there's that feeling in our stomachs that something just isn't right. She called on Mrs. Scullis to return and face justice, insisting that an apology was no longer sufficient. I want her to talk to us, face up to what she's done. I don't see how it can be any, um, it can be correct to abscond like this. What sort of example is she setting to her children? She has six weeks, and apology is not enough anymore. One of the family's lawyers, Mark Stevens, told me, Mail online. This family has been dis deliberately misled. I have to have full diplomatic immunity. You have to be in a s official diplomat diplomatic post and have to be present and have to present your credentials. I'm sorry, you guys. One of the lawyers, Mark Stevens from M Mail Online, said this family have been deliberately misled. To have full diplomatic immunity, you have to be in an official diplomatic post and to present your credentials. Ms. Scully did not do any of those things, from my understanding. As a result, his wife is not entitled to leave the country because she did not have a full dip diplomatic immunity. The Duns need to start a civil action in case, I mean, in America, as quickly as possible. And the foreign officer should pay for it because they have let this family down. Prior to meeting the U.S. ambassador, Mr. Rapp raised the case in a telephone call with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Mike Pompeo. Prime Minister Boris Johnson and the Northamptonshire Police have also asked the U.S. to consider waiving the immunity. After Tuesday's meeting, in Foreign Office spokesperson said, the Foreign Secretary met and the Ambassador today and urged the U.S. to reconsider its position and do the right thing by the Harry Dunn's family. Speaking to Sky News about the meeting with the Foreign Secretary, Mrs. Charles said, we've been offered the chance to now meet Dominique Rabb, and we've got that meeting this afternoon. I'm very much hoping for some positivity. I hope he can look at us as human beings that just need our UK government on our side. If we can get that positivity, then we can get a breakthrough. That's what we need. Then we can actually start looking at ourselves and our other boy which is his twin. Until we get the positivity and the answers we need, we are still in the mode of just keep going with the fire in our belly that keeps us telling us that something is just not right with this case. Mrs. Dunn said, hopefully he's going to tell us the news we want to hear, that they've got the waiver for the immunity and she's going to be coming back for justice on Harry. Wow. So she just ran somebody over and had a chance to get away with it. The, a crowdfunding page has been set up for Harry's family to begin their campaign to search for justice and to help Harry's twin brother, Nall, um, reach $10,000 as a target on Tuesday. Earlier today, human rights lawyer Mark Stevens insisted that if Mrs. Scholas was not brought back to the U.K., Harry's parents could bring a civil legal action in the U.S. Um, Mr. Stevens told BBC Breakfast, immunity does not apply in the home country, so even if the foreign office are correct and Mr. and Mrs. Scholas are entitled to immunity, then in those circumstances, if they got back to America, immunity no longer applies. The family can go to America and sue Mrs. Skolas in that country because she will not have immunity in America or any other third country. He said that if British government fails to have Mrs. Skolas return to the UK, the government should fund a legal action in the US 
to uphold what he called Harry's parents' human right to find out how their son died. Mr. Stevens added, the only way to do that is by doing, doing, going to the U.S. to sue Mr. Scholes. It wouldn't be about the money. It would be about the explanation that we've been asking for. We want to hear from her. We want to hear what happened to my son in those last moments. Harry was going to his father's house when he was in the collision with Mr. Scholes' Volvo XC90 outside of Raf Croton, a U.S. intelligence hub in North Hampshire. Police said Mrs. Scholas, who was driving offenses to her name in America, I mean, it said Mrs. Scholas, who has driving offenses in her name, to her name in America, had been traveling on the wrong side of the road for about 400 yards when she collided with Harry's motorbike around 8.30 p.m. on August 27th. Mrs. Skolas initially cooperated with the police after being told that Harry had died, but later fled to the U.S. with her husband and her three children, citing immunity due to her husband's job. It came as Foreign Secretary Dominique Rabb met with the U.S. Ambassador Woody Johnson to ask the U.S. to reconsider its position and do the right thing by Harry Dunn's family. Number two, America was accused of hypocrisy after it emerged from the U.S. Department of State's own guidelines say diplomatic immunity should not be extended to those committed serious or repeat driving offenses in the U.S. North Hampshire Police was set to present a file of evidence to the Crown Prosecution Service. Harry's family raised $10,000 via GoFundMe to travel to the U.S. I don't know what y'all think about that story, but it's really, it's really mind-boggling. I mean... I mean, this is really insane. Oh my God. I mean, they don't care. In a direct appeal to Mr. Trump, she said she urged him to try to see it from a point of view and our heartache as parents and said that she hoped that he could help in bringing Miss Skoll is back to the UK for justice and to help us start grieving again. Harry's parents embarked on a round of extensive interviews, including an appearance on This Morning. Harry's father, Tim, has devastatingly told how he crawled, he cradled his young dying son along the roadside. Mrs. Dunn, head of maintenance, at an independent school was called to the scene of the collision by a firefighter, a family friend who recognized Harry. Mr. Dunn, who described Harry as the centerpiece of the family and an amazing kid, asked police whether the driver had been injured and was told she was fine. Harry suffered multiple horrific injuries from the crash and he died. Y'all, let me know what you think about this story. Do y'all think Donald Trump should send this woman back to the UK, or do you think she deserves immunity because her husband, and because her husband works with Donald Trump? Y'all got to let me know what you think. All right. Like what you hear. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video.